Okay. Yeah. Ready to record. Yeah. It's recording. It's Just say yay math when I do. Okay, it says ready to record. Yeah. Oh. It's recording this. Oh, it's recording. Oh, it says ready to record. <laughs> 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 it's the first time on the Mac. All right, so welcome back to yay math. Yeah. Today we're going to be solving systems of equations. There's a test in the other room, so we have one chance. So just make it happen, and then we're going to be done with it. So make me proud. It's okay. Yay, math! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Oh, you guys. Yeah, you guys are too nice. <laughs> you guys are too nice. I thought you'd be like, yay, math! Screw them! Sorry. Don't sweat it. All right, so here we go. Here's the situation. Please write the following equation. All right, I'm so, oh my god, I'm so happy we're doing this. So happy. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't been way too long. Do you feel like it's been long? Yeah, we haven't had a math class. I know, it's been. We just do so much. Yeah. Yay, English! <laughs> 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 yeah, so good. I love it. 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 <laughs> I love this, this place is awesome. So Alright, here we go, here we go. I tap dance. Oh, he hurts. Oh, yeah. Yes, he hurt. Let's see, Mathematica, Italiano. It would just be like sing song here. Uh, like yeah. Italiano, like beret, like, oh, si, sí, Mathematica. Grazie. Okay. <laughs> All right, so here's the issue. Here's the issue. This is an equation with two variables. This is an equation with two variables. Are these linear? Are these lines? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So these are two lines, and we're trying to find out if they cross, where they cross. And that will be the solution for both. So let's think about this for a sec. Brief review. How many solutions exist for this line itself? Infinite. 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 Very good. What would be one solution? Zero. 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 Four. 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 What's another one? One. 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 <laughs> how, about, how about six zero? Six zero. Six zero. Six zero. Stick with the zeros. It's good. All right. What's the solution for this? One zero. 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 One. Good. Right. Zero. 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 Negative four. Good. So infinite solutions here. Infinite solutions here. Together, there should be generally one. Is the idea. So let's find it. One method is a method that, uh, you know, like when you don't have a teacher in that day and then a new teacher comes in and you watch videos, you call that teacher the? Substitute. substitute. So this is the substitution method. <laughs> yeah. Okay, substitution method. First step for substitution method is to write the equation side by side. Hopefully you did that. It did that on purpose. So we're writing them side by side. Next step is to what's called, anyone know what it's called? To what the what? Substitute the variable. Isolate the variable. Isolate. Good, good guess. Good guess. Isolate the variable. So we have four choices here. One, two, three, four. Which one would be the easiest to isolate? Yes, sir. Uh, the 2x plus 3y equals 12. Well, which are going to isolate or x isolate or y? X. I, I claim that there's an easier variable to, R, to uh, isolate. The negative y. Yeah. The negative y. The negative y. Yeah. Because it could be done without any sort of division, right? Oh, yeah. So let's isolate the y here. So isolate, you know, put him in his room. Bad boy. Bad, bad. No dinner for you. What? Uh, no dinner. That's so mean. Yes. Wait, can I do it? Yes, please. I'd love for you to do it. Okay. You're the point. Yes. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Um, so you minus 2x from both sides. Minus 2x from both sides. And then you have negative 2x plus 4 equals negative y. So, so we're writing negative y. And then you change the Equals x. negative 2x plus 4. And then you multiply both sides by? Negative, negative 1. Negative 1. Leaving? Y, y equals 2x minus 4. Y equals 2x. Can I do the substitute? Minus 4. I love volunteers. So yes, basically when you multiply by negative 1, you change all the signs. Color coding, you don't need to do this on your paper, but check it out. I'm gonna make this Y blue. I'm gonna make this Y blue. What's the problem with two variables in one equation? Can you solve that? No. 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 Can't solve because there's infinite solutions here. 
So what's the goal? To go from two variables to one. 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 You plug in the oh, right. where we right. see right. it all. Oh, I love the O moments. Oh, yes. The o moments. Oh. It's here. Yeah, it's like, yeah. <laughs> like this. It's here. <laughs> So, yes, so now that y is isolated, instead of this y, we're going to write 2x minus 4, and watch what happens. So, 2x plus 3 equals 12. Notice we skip the y. y is not written anymore. In its place, we put 2x minus 4. And now we have an equation with one variable, aka an equation we can solve. All right, algebra two Renos. So walk me through. 2x, anyone together, why not? 2x plus 6x minus 12 equals 12. More. 8x equals what? 24. 24. x equals 3. This marker is about to die. So there. So when you plug in x equals three, so x equals three is half the solution. The solution to this now is three something. Three something. Yes. Plug into which one? The other one. Either one. It should work for both. Is the whole point. So which one? Two x minus three. How about this one? Yeah. This yeah. one has y isolated, yeah. so we can plug x right in here, yeah. and we add a finish. Okay, so this x equals 3, arrows, goes into there. So y equals 6. Y equals 2. 2 times 3 minus 4. Because y equals 6 minus 4 equals 2. 2. So answer is 3, 2. Yes, cheese. So what does that mean? Does that mean that's one of those two lines change? Exactly. It means 3, 2 is the point where these two lines meet. And 3, 2 is the only point that will work in both equations. Volunteer to check this one. Yes? So 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 3 is 6 plus plus 3y, so that's 3 times 2. 3 six. times 2 is 6. 6 plus 6 equals 12. So what's so good about this class I keep emphasizing is that you can take a test and know if you get the answer right before you even give it to me. Yes, that's so cool to me. All right, and you can check this one. Someone else uh, do that? Not all at once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so 2 times Three. Well, three. Yeah. Does it matter which equation? Let's start with the original. Okay. Yeah. Two times three. Um, two times three is six. Six minus two is, is four. four. So that works too. So we have proof that the, this point works for both equations. All right. Next one. Whoa. I need to learn how to brace with my left hand, then I'll be like.